Good morning, everyone. It's a marvelous Monday. Okay, today I want to read a um, compare and contrast book, but it's nonfiction. Okay, and I'm going to tell you that. Usually I say, oh, see if you can figure it out. Well, it's pretty easy to figure out. It's nonfiction. It is called Who Would Win? Polar Bear versus Grizzly Bear. Now, I want you to think, who do you you predict who do you think is going to win polar bear grizzly bear ah i have my thoughts i hope you have your thoughts okay all right here we go scientific name of the polar bear ursus maritimus scientific name of the grizzly bear ursus arctus horribis horribilis it says, meet the polar bear. Polar bears are considered sea mammals. They spend most of their time on the frozen sea. They prefer to live near the edge of the ice pack. They are the largest of all bears. Ooh, that could be important. They're the largest. Meet the grizzly bear. Grizzly bears are mammals that live on land. You can tell grizzlies by the large hump at their shoulders. This is a mus muscle they use for digging. There, and then you can see the grizzly bear and the hump they're talking about right there. That's how you know it's a grizzly bear. And they've got that hump. Sorry, black bear, you're not in this book because you are not as big and ferocious as grizzlies and polar bears. Forget about it, giant panda. You are a plant eater and you're no match for a polar bear or a grizzly bear. Nope, they might get eaten. They might get eaten. They're pretty small compared to these other guys. Okay. Polar bears have snow white fur. Their color allows them to blend in with their environment. Snow, slush, and ice. Grizzly bears come in four different colors, dark brown, brown, reddish brown, and blonde. So you can see their fur is that color, and then the grizzly bear's fur could be one of these colors, okay? Does that help us decide who's gonna win? What color their fur is? No, hmm, okay. Polar bears are the largest predatory land animals. Polar bears can grow up to be 10 feet tall. Wow. Here is a kindergartner next to a polar bear. A grizzly bear can stand eight feet tall. They tower over you also. So here's the a picture of the polar bear. Here's what an average kindergartner's size would be. And then here is the grizzly bear. And here is like someone like this Burke. So look at that. They're only up to here. They would be almost to the polar bear's tummy. And a grown up would be about right where the claws can smack them. Oh, yikes. So does that help you decide? Hmm. Well, we know that polar bears are bigger. Hmm, that might mean they're tougher. And we also know that there was an interesting fact that they both can stand on their hind legs. Hmm, so they can stand up. All right. A polar bear paw is larger than this book. Holy smokes. This bird's hand's like here, but his paw is bigger. Okay. A polar bear paw is slightly webbed. It is like an oar. Like you. Yeah, perfect for swimming. This is a grizzly track. A track is a footprint. Their front claws can be 
four inches long. Wow. Humans have nails on their fingers. Bears have claws. Each claw, each paw has five long, sharp claws. So here is the claw on the polar bear, and that's the actual size. It's about the size of Miss Brooks' finger. Pretty pointy. And here, oh my goodness, is the grizzly bear's claw. But it is bigger than Miss Brooks' finger. Hmm. So a grizzly bear has bigger claws, but a polar bear is just bigger. Hmm. Polar bears are excellent swimmers. They can swim farther than 50 miles at one stretch. Polar bears mostly eat from the ocean. Walruses, seals, sea lions, and fish. Seals are their favorite food. Mm. Grizzly bears are good swimmers, but they prefer standing in a river to catch their fish. If a grizzly stands in the right spot, a migrating salmon might jump right into his mouth. Did you know a polar bear can eat a human? But it hardly ever happens. Not many people live near where polar bears are. Grizzlies eat salmon, trout, apples, berries, honey, and anything they can get their paws on. Grizzlies have also been known to eat moose, elk, caribou, rodents, sheep, grubs, and clams. This is a, not a fun fact. Each year, grizzlies eat a few people. They don't eat people because there's not really people around, but they do have eaten people every year. Not necessarily this one, but some grizzly bear somewhere. Open wide. Polar bears have carnivore teeth. Canine, right? Your pointy teeth. In front and huge molars in the back. Ah. Grizzly bears have teeth that are similar to a polar bear's teeth. Grizzlies have such a good sense of smell that they can detect a dead animal 10 miles away. So all the way out to, oh, Painted Rock, that Painted Rock exit, they could smell a dead animal from here to there. Whoa. Hmm. But a polar bear can smell a seal through three feet of ice. So as big as one of those papers back there, that ice that deep thick, they could still smell it underneath that ice. So, hmm, does that help us decide who would win? They both have really good sense of smell. And like I said, their teeth look pretty much the same. A polar bear can run 25 miles an hour. Like you're driving over by um, the fire department. That's 25 miles an hour. That is faster than a human can run. Polar bears can run down some caribou. Now, grizzly bears look slow, but don't be fooled. Mm -mm. Grizzly bears can easily outrun a human. They are fast. They can run 35 miles an hour. Now, a grizzly is faster on land, but a polar bear is probably faster on ice. So, hmm, have we decided yet? Or maybe you've changed your mind. Maybe you think something else is going to win. So we know that the polar bear is bigger. But now we also know that the grizzly bear is faster. Hmm. Here's a polar bear skeleton. And here's the skeleton of a grizzly bear. Bear skeletons are somewhat similar to humans. we got four limbs. 
two arms, two legs, five fingers, five toes, a backbone. You can feel your backbone, ribs, your head, your neck, and your hips. So you can see that this one's the polar bear. This one's the grizzly bear. Now you see that the grizzly bear doesn't have that hump on its skeleton. That's because it's muscle that's the hump, okay? Okay. Polar bears are solitary animals. They rarely fight each other, and mostly they stay away from each other. That's what solitary means. You, you just want to be by yourself. Grizzly bears are also solitary animals, but groups of grizzlies sometimes fish together during a salmon migration. Now, they're not hanging out partying together or going for bike rides, but they're kind of next to each other. Polar bears, uh-uh, they're by themselves. Male polar bears do not hibernate. They spend all winter looking for food. They might build a snow cave to sleep away an unusually bad storm, though. Female polar bears build a den usually in the snow and ice to spend the winter and take care of their cubs. This conserves the mom's energy. Now we're talking about grizzly bears here. Just before winter, grizzlies eat as much as they can to fatten up for a long sleep. Grizzly bears have a deep winter sleep, but it is not true hibernation. A grizzly can wake up and suddenly attack you. In the spring, grizzlies are hungry. Watch out. So this is a mama bear. She's taking care of her cubs. Uh, they're sleeping the winter away, but not quite a true hibernation. Okay, funny polar bear stories. A U.S. Navy nuclear sub surfaced in the Arctic ice only to find a polar bear snooping around. Sometimes polar bears take naps in the funniest positions. A famous nature photographer waited for days to get a good picture of a polar bear. He was eating lunch in his pickup truck one day when he saw a big surprise in his rear view mirror. Here's some funny grizzly stories. An Alaskan man came home to find a grizzly bear relaxing in his hot tub. A sailor anchored in a harbor in Alaska was awakened by a noise. He found a grizzly walking around his yacht. Scared out of his wits, he pushed the grizzly off with an oar. Mm, big stick that you control your boat. Using a cheeseburger, a tourist lured a grizzly bear into his car. That foolish man wanted to get a nice picture of the bear sitting with his wife. The woman screamed and the confused bear ran away. Oh my goodness. Would you try and get a grizzly bear in your car? Well, I hope not. And here it is, hot tub. And the polar bear, you can see in the rear view mirror. Yikes! Have you decided yet who would win? Okay. It is summer. A polar bear steps off the ice onto a beach. A grizzly bear comes out of the woods. Ooh, they see each other. They can smell each other. Both bears stand to get a better look. Then it happens. The grizzly charges at the polar bear, growling and showing his teeth. All of you growl like a grizzly. Come on, I know you can do it. The polar bear crouches down, paws up, ready for battle. Running at full speed, the grizzly knocks over the polar bear. The polar bear gets right up and fights back. Whack! He smacks the grizzly in the face. Ouch! They claw, scratch, and bite. It 
is a nasty fight. Mm. They wrestle, each trying to get the advantage. Rolling around, both bears get dirty from the sand and mud. The grizzly is relentless. Mm. It keeps on fighting. Suddenly, the polar bear sees no point in fighting anymore. There's no reason to fight to the death. The polar bear takes off. The grizzly wins, but now he is sore and tired. He hopes he never runs into a polar bear again. These two bears are so similar, which means they're so much alike, that next time the outcome could be quite different. So, what they're saying is that I think that it depends on the situation, okay? It depends on where they're at and what kind of day it is on who wins. So, they have what's called a checklist to see who has the most advantage. Size. Advantage polar bear. Claws. I would give that advantage to the grizzly bear because remember the claws were bigger. Now the polar bear's paw was bigger, but the actual claw, the sharp, mm, mm, was bigger on the grizzly. So one to one. Now, hunting skills. You know what? I'm gonna give it to both because they live in different places and the polar bear can smell so far down through, through ice and, um, the grizzly bear can go quite far away on land. Now, teeth, hmm, they're about the same, so I'll give it to both. Sense of smell, hmm, that again was how far they could smell, so I'm gonna give it to both there. Speed, oh, speed is, yeah, grizzly bear wins on that one. So he's got claws and speed. He's got, yep, yeah, size. Now family, who do you think would win on family? Well, we don't even really, the polar bear has his, has a family, right? Yeah. They have the, the cubs, the mama cubs, everything. Grizzly bear is pretty much alone. We didn't even talk really about cubs. So I'm gonna give family to, yeah, I think I'm gonna give family to polar bear. And hibernation, huh? Well, the polar bear doesn't sleep doesn't hibernate. And the grizzly bear kind of hibernates, but he needs to get more food, but he's kind of tired and can wake up quick. Huh. You know what? I think I'm going to give it to Paul. So that means they're tied. And that kind of proves to me, now you may feel different, it kind of proves to me that it depends on where they're at as to who would win. All right. I love who would win books. All right, I want you to have a great day. And I'm going to see you tomorrow when I bring around your last of your things in a little goodie bag. Okay, bye now.